say, this is what I call living, a Caribbean cruise in the Mediterranean. You ignopotamus. You can't take a Caribbean cruise in the Mediterranean. Everyone knows the Caribbean is in the North Pacific. Hey, gang, listen to this. The mysterious manfish, who calls himself Emperor Neptune, escaped from police after breaking into the government marine laboratory and stealing secret electronic equipment. Yeah, that sounds fishy to me. Golly, the government was studying Neptune, who claimed he was the last descendant from the ancient underwater city of Atlantis. The motive for Neptune's theft is unknown, and Neptune was last seen headed for the harbor docks. Jiminy, what do you think Neptune's motive was, Professor Carson? <laughs> well, the newspapers are probably exaggerating. I'm sure Neptune just wanted to return to the sea from where he came. Now, if you'll excuse me, I, I have an important matter to take care of. See? The professor agrees with me. The whole story's fishy, 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 fishy. Oh, yeah? Well, what if it ain't? That fish person was heading for the docks. What if Neptune's on this ship? He couldn't be. You're kidding. Tell me you're kidding, pugs. Oh, tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Yeah, shut up. walking in cycles for an hour. Okay, okay. So I forgot our cabin number. Give me a chance. I'll find it, Pugs. There it is. I told you I'd find it, Pugs. You sure that's our cabin? Positive. See? <laughs> Yikes! It's him! Emperor Neptune! <laughs> You can come out now, Fangs. You sure? You positive? Here, let me see for myself. He ain't to the left. He ain't to the right. He ain't... Ooh, ooh, the moon! <laughs> Where are they? Where are they? Lego, there's a monster after me. Yeah, yeah. Here, monster. You want him? You got him. Help, Fang Pace. It's me, Pugs, your best pal. Ooh, ooh, Pugs, my best pal. Yeah. I'll save you, Pugs. Stay right there! I'll come and get you, Pugs! There! I saved you, huh, Pugs? Huh? Yeah. Now, how do we get back to the ship? Ooh, ooh. I never thought of that! And then Neptune tossed me overboard. Yeah, overboard. <laughs> but unfortunately, Captain Clark, Pugsy can't remember what cabin Neptune was in. Which means we'll have to search the whole ship. Now, now, now. You probably had a bad dream and imagined the whole thing. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a ship to run. <laughs> Can two people have the same dream, Pugs? <laughs> huh, Pugs? <laughs> Can they? That's impossible. Right, which means we'll have to split up and search the ship ourselves. And prove to the captain that Emperor Neptune really is aboard. With these disguises, we can look inside every cabin. Yeah, yeah, look. 
Now remember, we knock on the doors and we tell them we want to make up the bunks. Yeah, yeah, I know. Then we peek inside to see if it's Fishhead's cabin. Right. And if it ain't Neptune's, we say, sorry, wrong room. Oops, sorry. Uh, room service, checking for unmade bunks. Oh, yours is fine. It's unmade. <laughs> Mate service, we gotta make up your bunk. Sorry, Mac. Wrong room. Uh, uh, busted. The right room. My bunk's a mess. Now, make it neato and quick. Oh, boy. It'll take us forever. That bunk hasn't been made since Moby Dick was a minnow. I'll do it, Hugs. I'll make it neato in two seconds flat <laughs> There you are. Neat as a pin. You gonna tip the maid? Huh, sir? A penny? <laughs> Cheap, 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 cheap! You ought to be ashamed of yourself! It's him! It's Neptune! What do you know? That fish has turned into a chicken! After him! He ain't gonna get away this time! Quick! He's heading down into the ship's cargo hold! Disappeared. Yeah! But where? Look! Quick! He's getting away! He won't get away this time! Yikes! Look out! Ooh, ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Watch it! Trapified! Yeah, yeah, trapified! <laughs> okay, fishhead, this time we gotcha! You are mistaken! Yikes! We've been double crossified! He led us into a trap! Ooh, ooh, so he did! So he did! Golly, Biff, this ship is so big it could take weeks to search every cabin. Yeah, we may never find out what Neptune is up to. Willikers, look! It's a giant shark! And it's heading straight for this ship. What's the big idea holding us captivated in these bunks, you overgrown lobster? Yeah, what are you up to, lobster puss? <laughs> such a bad lobster puss after all. He's gonna show us what he's up to. Pretty fair. like the ship's changing the rectifications. We gotta escapify. Blow to it, pugs. I'll escapify it. <laughs> and away we go. Step on it. We gotta find Biff and Kim. Yeah, yeah. Biff and Kim. <laughs> 
enormous white shark is towing the ship by the anchor chain. Yeah, and that creepfish Neptune is controlling the shark with his electronical suitcase. I've issued orders to search the whole ship, but he seems to have vanished into thin air. And several of our crew have also vanished, sir. Willikers, what can we do? We've got to figure a way to get the shark to open his mouth and let go of that anchor. Leave it to me, Biff. Opening a shark's mouth is no different than fixing a flat tire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just like fixing a flat tire. <laughs> And when we get to the shark, we use this car jack to open his big mouth and poof! He lets go of the anchor! Yeah, poof! You're a genius, pugs! <laughs> okay, fake face, get him to raise his big monster head. Hey! Raise your big monster head! <laughs> shark. And look, he's towing us right toward that creepy island. Ooh, ooh, and it's got some kind of old pirate fort on it. Attention, this is Neptune speaking. You are all my prisoners. Yikes, Professor Raider Carson is Neptune. Soon you will all become slave laborers who will build me a new city of Atlantis. So that's what he's up to. Escape is impossible because I have some of your crew as hostages. If you radio for help or try to escape, your crew will suffer the consequences. Yikes! The captain's men are in a fine kettle of fish. We've got to figure a way to get past that shark and capture Neptune. Uh-uh, count me out. No shark's gonna make a fangs burger out of me. Uh-uh, no way, no way, Pugs, no way. I... Eh, shut up. Psst. We got no choice. You gotta use your picture of the moon to change fang chicken into fang face. We can't. I forgot to bring it along. And there ain't no way we're gonna get to Neptune's fortress. Wait a minute. There is one way to get past that shark and get ashore. It's a lucky thing every ship carries a breach's buoy as part of its life-saving equipment. Ooh, ooh, easy, easy, go slow, go even slower. If I fall, the shark will eat me, pugs. A million minnows will eat me, an octopus will eat me. Yeah, shut up, before I eat you. Don't go away, we'll be right back to rescify you. Is everybody all set? Right. Okay. We sneak up on Neptune and throw the net right over him. Then Fangs grabs his shark control device. And we use it to send old Jawpuss on his way. Right. Let's go. Hey, get moving. Oh, I can't. My, my feet won't move. Oh, boy. What a time to get a case of cold feet. Hide behind those barrels, Fangs. We'll get the shark device ourselves. Ooh, ooh, good idea. My feet just got better. <laughs> Those measuring kids! Oh, 
no! Fang Face blew our plan! <laughs> Quick, Pugsy, grab the short control device! Gotcha! Got it! And I got you! <laughs> And you lost us a shark control device. Ooh, ooh, I'm sorry, Pug. Ooh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Fools, you think you can stop Neptune? You know it. Now you can't control the shark anymore. Only for the moment. I have another device hidden on the ship. He's getting away! After him! <laughs> The door is bolted from the other side. <laughs> Doors bolted from the other side are my specialty. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> Good work, Fangface. Now let's get him. Look, he's heading back to the ship on our breach's buoy. We've got to stop him. Pugsy and me will stop him. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Old Fishface didn't count on the tight-roping team of Pugs and Fangface. Yeah, and I didn't count on being your balancing pole. End of the line, Fishhead. I got him! I got him! Good work, Fangface. That takes care of Neptune. Yeah, but we still got to do something about that giant shark. I'll leave him to me. I'll take care of that 40-foot fin sardine. Face. He's transportating the shark to the other side of the island. <laughs> Sorry about the jog, old buddy. But jogging's good for your health. So keep on going. So, Neptune is locked in the ship's brig. The shark is gone. And we got back Neptune's stolen device. Thanks to our hero, Fangface. Oh, boy. I think being a hero is going to Fangface's head. And then that big shark. He came straight at me. Show us, Fangface. Show us. You betcha. He was chasing me. I was chasing him. Fangface, our hero. He saved the ship from the giant shark. Ooh, ooh. The sun. Shark? Where? Where? Yay! He's right behind me. His son changed Fang Face back into Fang Chicken, and he's scared of his own fin. Help! Punky! Beth! Anybody! Kimmy! <laughs> <laughs>